Bell wrote a column in USA Today polling a few former NFL quarterback greats and their thoughts on one Tom Brady and Deflategate. Warren Moon added, I guarantee you he had some knowledge. Those guys handling the footballs are not going to do it if it's something he doesn't like. Whatever they're told, they got it done. But I don't think it's that big of an advantage. A federal case over freaking air in the ball. It became a thing where both sides dug in and wouldn't budge. Bill Sims likens deflated footballs to a corked bat or a basketball made easier to handle asking, where do you draw the line? Skip, this is your guy, Brady. Yeah. What do you make of these comments? Frankly, Molly, Stephen A., I like all three of these quarterbacks. They were obviously great in and of themselves. But these comments made me sick because they are so relentlessly unfair to Tom Brady. You've heard the old cliche about damning with faint praise. These three former great quarterbacks are damning with loud praise because they're all saying, man, what Brady's doing right now, it's amazing what he's doing. But between the lines, or sometimes in Warren Moon's case, in the lines, they're saying, but he still cheated. <clears throat> Phil Simms using the cork bat analogy. That's, that's big time cheating in baseball. That gives you a big advantage, as we remember from the Sammy Sosa cork bats. It allows you to get a little more spring-like effect on the, in the barrel of the bat. Got it. Project the ball a little farther. I don't like the analogy because you're just saying he flat out cheated. Steve Young saying, well, it's no more than a traffic citation, which is pretty much what you said. Is that fair to, to say? It, it's not that big a deal, but it was still cheating. And I'm going to say this again, whether people want to hear it from me or not. I believed Tom Brady from the start, and I've never wavered in this, sitting right here in this chair from the very start. I said that I believe Tom Brady when he says he told his equipment people to merely inflate the footballs to the lower end <clears throat> of regulation. Now, if you want to make the case back to me that Bill Belichick masterminded this, that he ordered the footballs deflated, make your case away, fire away, because I, I don't know that, but we know that Belichick got busted for cheating. He got caught red-handed in Spygate, so he has a history. Tom Brady has zero history, and now it looks like we have three more former quarterbacks who, like you and most of the rest of the world outside Patriot Nation, leaped to the early conclusion he cheated and he lied about it, and they won't back off. They will not give him an inch of objectivity when, in fact, Tom Brady had the guts to go fight City Hall, Roger Goodell in the NFL, in an away game. He was forced to go fight Roger Goodell and company, as you well know, in Manhattan. That's their home game with what should have been a hometown judge. And Judge Berman, thank you very much, Judge Berman, had the objectivity to hear the facts. And even though they weren't judging the merits of the case, I think they came into play. And, and when I read what he wrote about the case, and when I heard what Judge Berman said about the case, it was pretty clear to me and to everybody else, I think, with, with half an objective brain, that Judge Berman did not think Tom Brady cheated. He, he pretty much ruled that out, and then obviously it was all about the process. But still, Tom Brady had the guts to go beat the NFL in its own backyard. And then we go back to what happened on the field after everyone said, oh, this is cheating. You're, you're getting an unfair competitive advantage. So on the very night that he had an unfair competitive advantage and they fixed the footballs for the second half of the AFC championship game, what happened? Tom Brady torched the Indianapolis Colts in the second half with legally inflated footballs, 28 to nothing. With legally inflated footballs, quote unquote, because I don't think they were much different than they were before, Tom Brady played one of the great Super Bowls and the best fourth quarter of a Super Bowl I have ever seen. And then with legally inflated footballs, you, you would think, boy, Tom Brady's performance would start to suffer a little bit this year as in, in his later years of playing quarterback. And he's better than ever. So it makes everybody look foolish who thought he was getting a competitive advantage because his footballs were deflated. Baloney he was. Look what he's doing now. 11 touchdowns, no interceptions. What he did to the Pittsburgh defense on opening night and then to Rex Ryan's defense up in Buffalo. Are you kidding me? And these three quarterbacks won't give him an inch of objectivity to say, you know, maybe he didn't cheat. Maybe he's just taking it up a notch here. 
because the facts are that on the field, he's showing you he had zero competitive advantage with what everybody said was underinflated footballs. But these guys are still buying the Wells Report. You're still buying the Wells Report. Tom Brady destroyed his cell phone. That's what Jared Bell wrote that word again in this, this piece. I, I like Jared Bell, but destroy, did he destroy it or did he just change to a different cell phone because they told him it wasn't going to even come into play in, in the Wells investigation? That, that's just, it's just so unfair to Tom Brady. But the bottom line is, I love it because Tom Brady reads this stuff and he will be so on fire motivated to make all these guys eat their words by the end of this year. And I hope they will. Finish? Yeah. A couple of questions. <clears throat> Do you have an iPhone? Do you have an iPhone? Yeah. You have an Apple iPhone? I don't have an Apple. Oh, but is that not, what you mean? Yeah, it, you, does yeah, that qualify as an iPhone? iPhone? Samsung? Is that an iPhone? No. no. Oh, Samsung, yeah, it's not an iPhone. No, okay. he doesn't well, have an iPhone. iPhone. He has Samsung. Yeah, you have yeah. Samsung. You don't have an iPhone. Okay, that's number one. Because I'm just here to let you know, as somebody who has changed his phone on mm -hmm. several occasions, mm -hmm. All my emails and my text messages get mm -hmm. transferred right to my new phone. I just want you to know that, okay? Number so, one. So? No, 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 no. Wait. You, 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 were saying, you were saying that, you know, he didn't destroy his cell phone. He just changed his cell phone or whatever the case may be. I'm telling you that your text messages and your emails usually okay. transfer I've to I've changed. Phone. Yeah, I've done that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, that's number one. Okay. I just want to point that out. Regardless of the carrier that that's happens. That's right. That's right. Question number two. Roger Goodell is the commissioner of the National Football League. You have obviously spoken out against him and what you deem to be a witch hunt. Do yep. you think that Roger Goodell firmly believes and knows Tom Brady is innocent but is going after him anyway? I don't know. You'd have to tell me. I don't okay. know. I can't speak because, for Roger because, Goodell. Well, well, what I'm saying is when you, you've used the word witch mm -hmm. hunt in the past, and I'm saying to you that mm -hmm. it's only a witch hunt yep. if... You adamantly... I don't think he has the, the proper no. proof. Okay. You think well, it's more probable than not? Well, well, I'm, well, well, I, that well, won't stand up in a court well, of law. Well, it, well, yeah, but it ain't supposed to be a court of law. It's supposed to be the court of the NFL. Now, the federal judge has obviously made a different rule. And let me tell you what I was told the interpretation of Judge Berman's ruling was. Mm -hmm. Judge Berman's ruling wasn't in support of Tom Brady. It was against Roger Goodell because Roger Goodell, he thought, engaged in an abuse mm -hmm. of power. Yeah. That doesn't speak to the innocence of Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. It just speaks to, excuse me, you have a collective bargaining agreement with the Players Association. You seem to have exceeded the purview of your power okay. at this particular Okay, but quick point of order. Sure. In that opinion that Judge Berman wrote, and it yes. went on forever, yeah. but there were lots of indications that he didn't believe the NFL had much of a case against well, Tom Brady. He, he didn't believe the NFL had much of a case to justify a four-game suspension. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about the four-game suspension, let's say, for example, had he fined Tom Brady mm -hmm. $200,000 but didn't suspend him, I don't think Berman would have made that ruling. Mm -hmm. Had he suspended him one game, I don't think Berman would have made that ruling. I thought it was about the fact that this is four games, this is 25% of an NFL season that you're going here. You're the mm -hmm. commissioner of the National Football League. You want to suspend somebody to the degree that you suspend the dudes with domestic abuse, yeah. with weed, and all of this other stuff. You had damn well better have more mm -hmm. evidence than what you're giving me. Yeah. Fair enough. The reason I bring all of that up, Skip Bayless, is because the time for playing around and joking about the flate gate as it pertains to this show has come to an end. I think that you have crossed the line when you're going after a Phil Simms, a Steve Young, a Warren Moon with their positions, and here is why. They played this game. So? Let me, no, 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 no. I don't no, care. No, 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 no. That, that, that's that's got to matter. That's got to matter. When a, when a guy has played in the NFL and, and have produced Super Bowls or have succeeded as much as Warren Moon has in the Hall of Fame that he and Steve Young is, I'm sorry. It, it, ha it holds weight. Do I believe that Tom Brady knew something about deflated footballs, that he was completely, you know, yes, I do. Do I believe he's completely clueless and oblivious to it? No, I do not. But at the same time, I just don't find it to be that big of a deal. Here's where I part ways with that. Mm -hmm. When NFL players who are in between those lines that have played this game, on a very elite level, particularly at the same position Tom Brady has played. If they're sitting there and saying, as Warren Moon said, there's no way he didn't know. Warren said I, that. I, in this, I, I, said I, that's that's right. I got the piece right in front of me. Yep. What I'm saying to you is that I got to take that to the bank. By the way, he said, I guarantee you. Yes. He knew. Well, 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 listen. 
He's not the only one. I've had right. play, I've had numerous NFL players tell me that. I've had players tell me by your second year at the latest, your third year in the league, no matter what position you're playing, they know where you want your clothes hang up. They hung up. They want. They know what meal you want and at what time. They know how you want your socks I, I laid down. It. So I what I'm trying. So what I'm trying to say to you is, when people are that tedious and that meticulous in explaining the culture of a game and they are participants in it at an elite level, I cannot dismiss that. Now, you could disagree. You could do that. But let's not talk about Warren Moon or a Steve Young or a Phil Simms as if they're out of line. All of them touched on the greatness of Tom Brady. All of them validated it. All of them said in no way does that influence or tarnish his legacy of greatness because it cannot be disputed. Yeah, but when you did but say, say, but he cheated, but, but it tarnishes no, his legacy. What, what they're saying is that Steve Young, you can say cheated, Skip. To Steve Young, it was the, it, it, it was the equivalent of a traffic citation. So what I'm trying to say to you is that they're letting you know that under no circumstances should you use this as an excuse to try to impugn or diminish the greatness of Tom Brady. That's your but interpretation of that, it. That is my interpretation of it. But Not that's mine. What, but that's what they're saying. Yeah. I'm to, saying, to I'm going by what they're saying. To people who wait, read this, they're going to say, no, 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 no. no. You're still I, saying well, he with, all due respect, with all due respect, I don't think most people in the public read the way you do. I'm talking about the way you dissect that. things, particularly when it comes to one of your favorite well, players. Well, I don't have to dissect. I, that, I guarantee well, you, well, he well, do. Well, I again, to, I don't have to well, read well, again, into that. But, well, yeah, you do. Because what they're saying is, they're not, you take it as an affront as if everybody is touching on the, on the greatness of Tom Brady. What they're saying is, excuse me, there are rules that are bent all the time in the game. This to us is a very small thing. Just don't tell us that you're the quarterback. No one touches the balls more okay. than you. Uh, Nobody I, I does it, and you. you know nothing. Okay. You know nothing. No, you know everything. Nobody is more meticulous than Tom Brady. It's a pretty wide range that the rules allow at a PSI. What did Aaron Rodgers say? I want mine at the top. It just feels better in my hand. I like a fuller football. What did Tom Brady say? The Jets game, two, it was two years before. Remember that? The, the referee said, no, we won't accept this, and they overinflated the footballs. Do you think he didn't know that? No, he was furious so, so, about it because so, he couldn't hold the, the football. So, so, okay. so he knows he wants them at the lower end of regulation. That does not mean Phil Sims. And by the way, I know Phil very well. I know Warren pretty well. I don't know Steve Young, but I, I'm <coughs> close with Phil Sims. So the, it's not like I'm attacking people that I haven't spent a lot of time around. I understand that. I'm just saying that at the lower end of inflation, Tom Brady knows he it's a little softer for him, but that doesn't mean he cheated. Skip Bayless. It doesn't. I don't recall them saying he cheated. I recall them saying, just don't tell us that as the quarterback of this franchise, you didn't know. Okay, he knows that, it's lower than higher. All, but that's all they're but, saying. But we're within the range minute, of regulation. Wait, 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 we're wait not minute. cheating. No, no, no. Wait a minute. You're not hearing this right. The commissioner of the National Football League and what they're electing to do with Tom Brady is their own separate business. I think that if you cornered Steve Young and Warren Moon and Phil Simms and you asked them, would they have pursued this case against Tom Brady the way the commissioner has, they would tell you absolutely not. It is a waste of our time. This right. is pretty much to do about nothing. No, they're not but, saying it's about nothing. Let me finish. If let you me... use cork bat, it's not nothing. Skip, Go ahead. What I'm saying to you is that that's what I get that they're saying. I get that they're saying this is not that big a deal. Just don't tell us that you didn't know anything. It's impossible for us to believe that you didn't know anything. Here's a quote sure. early in this column from my friend Phil Sims. Worked with him on this network yep. a long time ago. Go ahead. If it's true, that's it's right. a big deal. Mm -hmm. Okay, Phil Sims, that's the first quote in the story. Whoa, Jared whoa, Bell, whoa, whoa. if it's true, whoa, whoa. it's a big deal. That's and then he's saying it's like a cork bat, no, so no. he's saying it is true. He's saying to me, if it's true, it's a big deal. 
Meaning, when they came to you and asked you about it, and you lied and all of this other stuff. Okay. I don't think that, oh my goodness, the footballs are a little bit deflated, so wow. And I'm not trying to say, listen, I didn't play the game, they did. So I understand that, you know, you, you, you've you got folks that'll call into the radio show that'll sit there could call in here if they want, if they could, and they will tell you it's a big deal because obviously Phil, um, Bill Belichick is a stickler for protecting the football, not fumbling it or what have you, and the softer and the that's football a whole other is. Issue. I'm just saying, if the you softer say it's the a Belichick order, then I'm good with it. See, that's okay. what, what I'm saying to you is this you're speaking to the greatness of Tom Brady to highlight and buffer your argument. Okay. Last time I checked before Spygate, Phil, Bill Belichick was considered great. Let me point out this too Bill Barcells, I would consider him a great coach. Would you consider him a yes. great coach? I don't recall him winning any Super Bowls without defensive coordinator Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick, what I'm trying to say to you is this. Bill Belichick accomplished a great, great deal in his NFL career. This man is a born winner, okay? But when Spygate came along, Spygate came, he got busted for doing that. And, and Why would a born started. winner need to resort to Spygate? I agree with that. To, to illegally wait, wait taping defensive Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's my point. Okay. He didn't need to do it because he was a winner before that. But he did it anyway. So you can't, you, you could sit there and you could easily lean on that. But the notion that Tom Brady can be stained in any way just abhors you to no return. Really? I'm out. Really? Now that you brought this up. Bill Belichick got fired in Cleveland. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And he had a bad yes, first do. year in New England. Yep. I can't remember. I'm off the top I of my head a little all bit. That. And I he remember was all that. on the hot seat. That's and right. I had an assistant on that staff the year Tom Brady fell out of heaven into Belichick's mm -hmm. lap. Mm -hmm. Tell me that they thought as a staff they probably were going to get fired that season. And they I got agree. Off to I a remember that. Start. I remember so that. So the born winner was in danger of losing his second job when Tom Brady saved the day and I think saved you, his career. You, you, you just is all I'm trying to say to you is that it's amazing to me. I understand that he had Nick Saban and others on the squad. We see how great those coaches are. My point to you is that Bill Belichick, being as great as he is, he still cheated with Spygate. And all I'm saying is his quarterback for the last 13 plus years has been one Tom Brady. So Bill Belichick is 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 persona non grata. This dude is corrupt. He's always cheating, but Tom Brady. Oh, he could never do anything wrong. I mean, the okay. sun just so shines just by and sets with him. association, Tom Brady's I, I, legacy I, I, should I, I, be tarnished. I am not that saying that. Saying? Not at all. What I am saying is, is that when you come to me and I listen to Phil Simms or a Warren Moon or a Steve Young, credentialed NFL stars who won Super Bowls in the case of Sims and Steve Young anyway, Hall of Famers who have done what they have done at that position. I think that it's okay for them to express, look, we don't think that the guy knew nothing, but we still know how great he is. I don't think that's a crime. I don't think that's a crime. All right. Is it a crime not to mention that he gained no competitive advantage for the reported underinflating of the football, the deflating of the football? Can't you see he has proven again and again, Tom Brady, that that it didn't give him one ounce I of think advantage. Phil, I think Bill Belichick has proven his greatness in the aftermath of Spygate, but it doesn't take away what happened with Spygate. There are people who are great that cross the lines from time to time, and I don't know if Tom Brady did that or not, but at the same time, we don't know whether he did or didn't. Stop acting like we do. We don't know. Well, I... I I do. Okay. I believe. No, you don't. You believe. Mm -hmm. You don't know. Yeah. All right. Let's go.